groans. We're surrounded by these furry creatures that keep multiplying. I don't know what to do. Maybe I should draw a picture of it. Captain's Law, Star Date, July 31st, 2015. Illustrator Scott Circlin is given the monumental task of creating a piece of artwork for a fan of the original classic Star Trek series in which I portrayed Captain James T. Kirk, you Santa Bros. I'll allow the artist to tell you in his own words exactly what this is all about. Mr. Scott, explain yourself. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks, Bill. Um, thanks for that introduction. Um, yeah, so uh, this right here is a... Um, an illustration for, or it's, you know, a cartoon, whatever you want to call it, for, it's a, actually a gift for my girlfriend's father, who um, I didn't even realize he was a big Star Trek fan. Um, I, uh, <laughs> you know, it was his birthday the other week, and um, and I'm like, well, yeah, I don't know what to get your dad, and she's like, well, why don't you draw him a picture? I'm like, okay, what does he like? And she's like well he's a big fan of Star Trek which is weird because I've never heard him mention Star Trek or anything but evidently he is so she's like you know draw a picture of Spock or something like that and so so I'm like yeah I could do that but you know my thing you know I'm not really a, like a portrait artist I don't know I prefer to do more cartoons and, and you know comic book style stuff so um, I thought I'd do something uh, from the Trouble with Tribbles I like the little triple guys um, so I don't know. I just just thought I'd have the the you know kind of the three main actors. Uh, of course, Kirk in his captain's chair and Spock kind of stoic looking as usual, and and uh, and McCoy inquisitive like you know trying to figure out what's going on and everything, um, and just kind of <laughs> overrun by triples. So so yeah. So I gave you know I gave it to him and he seemed to really like it, which is cool. So. Um, but yeah, I just I figured I'd, I'd film the process and everything um, while I was doing that, and I would get, you know, kind of kill two birds with one stone and do a, a fan art Friday while I was at it. Um, so here you kind of see me just kind of filling in some of the gestures, um, just kind of get. And you'll see right now I've got Kirk's both of his arms kind of down um, at his side. But uh, later I'll, I'll change that around because, uh, you know, there's always that, that kind of famous pose where, where Kirk is kind of, he's got his, his hand up to his chin and he, he's kind of contemplating what to do. And here, here I kind of, I'm like putting this hand behind his head, but I really like that. But so I, there, there we go. So I'm going to put the hand under his chin, like, <laughs> what am I going to do with all these tribbles? So um, anyway. <laughs> That's that, but yeah. So I I don't know if I've really done too many like Star Trek drawings. I'm, you know, I'm not like a huge Star Trek fan, but I've seen you know I've seen I think I've seen most of the you know the original or a lot of them. There was a there was a span of time where I, I was working at a, a like a, a television studio. Uh, well, not really. T it wasn't television. They were a, a like you know a film production company, I guess. Um, and then uh, every time we took a lunch, uh, Star Trek happened to be on at that time, so we would just sit sit and watch uh, classic episodes. So, um, but that was you know that was kind of later on. I watched a few of them, just you know growing up, um, but never really got too into it. But yeah, I mean the yeah I do I do kind of have a fondness though in retrospect for the you know the originals and I like the movies. I like um, you know. Uh, a few of the movies I like, you know, some are better than others. I think I think the consensus is that it's like the, you know, all, all the all the even numbers are the good ones. Uh, you know, Rathacon probably my favorite, and so yeah, fan of those. Excuse me, sorry for interrupting, but I couldn't help but notice you mentioned that your favorite Star Trek films were the even numbered films when the film I directed. Star Trek V 
the final frontier was in fact an odd number. It's preposterous to rule out this incredible piece of filmmaking. That's, I don't understand. Well, yeah, it just, I, I don't know. I just wasn't, it wasn't my, one of my favorites. I don't think it was as well received. You, you invite me on my show and then what do you do but criticize me in my, my work? I, I'm flawed. I, I, I don't know what to say. Star Trek V is well regarded as probably the best piece of filmmaking by many in the know, including myself. But fine, I'll, I'll let you continue on with your show. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so where was I? Um, yeah, so just getting back to the, the drawing. Um, just finishing up, putting a little detail. Sorry, it's not really on camera there. Um, but uh, I, I'm using the I saw I, maybe I've used this pencil before on uh, the sh uh, on the fan art Friday I don't remember um, but uh, I switched to uh, these uh, Pentel leads it's just Pentel blue they're like I don't know like 60 millimeter like mechanical pencil leads and I, they're a little darker which I like and it's a little easier to get detail and everything I think the actually the last one I did I may have I think I used that I I started with I, I use uh, the um, I use the Prismacolor um, it's like turquoise brand I guess that they have that's a lead it's a lead holder and um, and that's what I use for most of my stuff but it's really light but it's I kind of like this new pencil too because it allows me to get a little darker and put a little more detail and everything on so um, so that's what I'm doing so yeah back to Star Trek I mean um, I guess I guess you could just call me kind of like a casual Star Trek fan I was always just huge into Star Trek but I mean into sorry Star Wars um, so Star Trek kind of came secondary but but a lot of the movies I like, I do, I do like the remakes. I, you know, I think the second one gets a lot of flack. I think it's mostly from real diehard Star Trek fans. And since I'm, I'm not really, you know, that diehard of a Star Trek fan. And I do, I mean, I understand, I kind of understand some of the criticism because the, you know, with, you know, the way they redid Khan and everything. Oops, spoiler alert. But I think by now everyone kind of knows, <laughs> knows what that's all about. But, um... But yeah, I mean, I, I I didn't really I didn't really mind it. So I like I like both of the new ones. Um, yeah, they were both. I think they were both really really well done. And um, so yeah, I'm I'm curious to see now that J J Abrams has gone over to, to working on Star Wars, uh, what uh, what the next Star Trek film is going to be like. But uh, so far, uh, they haven't steered me wrong at all. Um, so yeah, getting into uh, getting into doing some more of the inking here, the inking stage, and just using my Deleter manga ink, the Deleter number five black. But I'm running out, um, so I, I guess I got to order some. But what sucks is it it's you got to order it from Japan. It always takes a while for it to get here. So I may have to buy something else in the in the um, in the meantime. And for this, since this is just black and white, I could have used anything. I could have used. Um, uh, you know, any kind of India ink, really, uh, black magic or whatever. But um, I should just, I should just reserve that manga ink for anything that I'm going to put like copics on because it doesn't seem to smudge with the copics. But, um, but really, that's all I had. So, um, so I, I like doing the, I like drawing the little triples because it's just, I don't know, the fuzziness and you don't really connect the lines. You just kind of, you know, give them that. You can get kind of a fuzzy look if, by by kind of doing these light lines that aren't solid and aren't connecting and it, it's kind of got a kind of cool effect and I don't know you know I don't know this drawing I was I was thinking maybe I should do more of a kind of a caricature -y thing a little fun, more fun I mean it's stylized in a way I guess but it's not it's not really like a caricature and it's so I don't know I, I don't know if it's really meant to be funny or, or or what but yeah I don't know just you know just the approach I decided to do so um, so yeah Please, if I might interject, I don't mean to sabotage your show, but you know, what? You don't? Oh, sabotage. Ah, uh, please, please don't, don't correct me. Don't tell me how to do it. It sickens me. You say sabotage. I say sabotage. I 
know we're getting near the end of the show, and I just thought I might regale your fans with a little rendition of Elton John's Rocket Man, if I might. I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't know if that's ne really necessary. Oh, please, it's my pleasure. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour, 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be high. As a kite by then. Oh, I miss the earth so much. I miss my wife. It's lonely out in space on such a timeless flight. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Till Touchtown brings me back to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no, no, no. I'm a rocket man. Rocket man. Burning out his fuse. Out here alone. And I think it's going to be a long, long time till Touchdown brings me round again to find I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm a rocket okay, man. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and, and stop you right there, although that, that certainly was interesting. Um, but, yeah, th with this show, what we, what we usually typically try to do is just we, you know, we... Um, we just, it's a drawing show. We, we draw a picture, maybe we'll speed it up a little bit and then we'll, we'll talk about, um, you know, whatever the subject is in this case, you know, Star Trek or whatever. And, um, although I do appreciate you having your on and everything, but I, I, I don't know what, the, the kind of spoken word music, uh, thing that you do really has to do with the artwork itself. Um, uh, please, please, uh, uh, you and invite me on your show and then you insult me by not letting me do whatever I want. I mean, how often it is you have a star of my stature. I took the time to come down here and speak out to, oh, what, 25, 30 of your fans and this is the reception I get. I, I think maybe it's time for me to to go, I, uh, well, you know, I know, I, I mean, I, I, I do appreciate you coming on. I mean, um, and I, you know, I thought maybe you might talk a little bit about Star Trek or t everyone, everyone already knows about Star Trek, but how many people would have gotten a chance to hear me perform my music, the, the, the musical prowess that I present, it's, Uncanny, it's undeniable. But if you want to talk about Star Trek, I, you know, I really, really have nothing further to say on the subject. So, I think I'm going to leave. Uh, oh well, you know, again, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, didn't mean to upset you. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I do appreciate you coming on and everything. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, well, you know, thanks. Thanks. Uh, please, please. Enough is enough. I'm, uh, I, I certainly can't say I'll ever be on again, but whatever. Good, good luck. Oh, thank, thank you, Mr. Shatner. Um, Anyway, so yeah, so this has been <laughs> a rather unusual episode of uh, Fan Art Friday, and uh, thank you to to uh, William Shatner. And um, just finishing up uh, some minor things here, but I just want to let everyone know um, 
that uh, yeah, I appreciate everyone that's watching, everyone that's subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, if you'd like to see more of these shows, they won't all have bad impersonations on them, I promise you. But <laughs> but um, if you want to see more artwork or you want to hear me talk about you know whatever, um, yeah, subscribe to the channel, and um, I've got some other videos that'll come up. Uh, you can click on some of those and watch, and leave a comment if you would like to see um, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see on the channel any of the other fan art that you would like me to do or or anything just leave me a message and i will try to get back to everyone but uh thanks and i'm signing my name so that's about it but uh yeah that is all Thank mm -hmm. you.